Elias. Yes, you were. You were born right upstairs in the front bedroom that overlooks the river. Were you born down in Chalice? No, I was born down in Scarborough, a town this side of Boston. Why Matthias? What was so special about it? Well, there was marsh hay and large pines that we could use to build our homestead center. Thirteen of us had lived on Black Point in Scarborough. Their names were Samuel and Sylvana Scott, Timothy, George, and David Lippy, Daniel and Jaffet Hill, Solomon and John Stone, Isaac Larrabee, Isaiah Foster, West Brook Berry, Daniel Fogg. Then there was Jonathan Carlton from Sheepscot. Our captain was Thomas Bott from Plymouth. And William Jones agreed to bring us supplies occasionally. Only two of the men, though, brought their wives and children on that first trip. We ended up moving to Machias because the hay fields back in Scarborough were so dry that they caught on fire and burned when the forest fires came down from the province of New Hampshire. Some people lost their houses and everything they owned. It was such a sad time. Many of us became discouraged. We knew we had to start over, but we did not want it to all burn down again. We had been sailing along the coast, down east, to cut hay to bring back to Scarborough. And we decided that the lush grounds east of the Penobscot River, where there had been no drought, might be a good place to settle. Many people stayed in Scarborough. A few moved to Plymouth. Some of us, we moved here to Machias. Sixteen of us formed an association to settle this land here in Machias. Machias has plenty of marsh hay and tall white pine trees along all three rivers here. We have pretty much everything we need. The marsh hay feeds our oxen and horses that pull the trees we cut down. Once the oxen and horses pull the trees to the river, we use the flowing rivers to float the trees down to our sawmills so we can cut the trees into boards for making buildings or to sell or trade for food and other goods. We cut large trees back in Scarborough where we milled them into boards and timbers. Building wood mills here was natural for most of us. We organized into an association of 16 so each family owned a share of the mill. Machias was the first permanent English settlement in Machias. The English first visited Machias in 1633 when Richard Vines built a trading post here. Charles de la Tour raided Machias and the English were captured. Other Englishmen visited in 1704 and 1734, but they did not stay. When we first settled Machias, it covered a larger area of the region Eventually, Machias was broken up into several surrounding towns. Machias will see several exciting changes in the coming years.